Welcome back to Thranduil's Kingdom, the Woodland Realm, and the second episode of this series. In the previous episode, we took Erin Dolan and Emma Nufuin, and we kind of made the decision to turtle from here. I'm thinking we're going to begin the campaign by turtling a bit to the south, try and hold, try and defend against Dol Guldur. We do have a settlement rule. Not all of you are on board with the rule, you really don't seem to like it, but I think the vast majority of the viewers like the settlement rule. We can take the entirety of Mirkwood Forest, and we can also take the bordering regions of Mirkwood Forest. So for example, with the board, totally claimable, it's a bordering region to Mirkwood Forest. Rakeberg, also a region that we can claim for ourselves, uh, we could even take Beyond's Halls as well for ourselves, because that's a boarding region. If they would lose it to Dol Guldur, we could claim it and keep it. Same with this one over here. Duinburg, Roscobel, Achnodion, uh, Bar South is, I think it's called, should be located somewhere around there. Uh, Brown Boat or Tustjör, and the one that is located over there. All of the boarding regions we can claim. Even Eskaroth, Dale, if they were to be defeated by Rune, we could claim these ones and keep them because they're bordering regions. So there we go, that's the rules. And yeah, I know, not everyone likes the rule, but the majority does. And we're gonna go and play this way. So that's it. And I think maybe the first conquestable target, that <laughs> conquestable, I'm not sure that's a real word. The first uh, place we want to maybe grab is going to be with the board. Uh, we want to claim this one and try and hold here. I'm not sure that this is the right strategy. I think maybe the best strategy is to just plow down against Dol Guldur and destroy that faction first. But we're going to begin by taking with the board. We're going to try and take it, if we can, and try and... Because someone stated that there is mines here. We can get mines and that would help us out a lot. We need more income, we have real expensive units to deal with, so we need more income. And as soon as the land clearance has been done here, we might want to look into getting the armory militia garrison here, so that we can get two extra units if we get attacked, because Dolguldur is most likely going to attack Erin Dolan uh, against... Uh, yeah, this is going to be the first target. And you guys have said that they are actually bordering uh, now they could i'm not sure they are are they bordering the woodland realm uh, maybe by a small small part emunufun though should always be safe I'm not feeling threatened here at all. Emenufuin, they should never attack that region, so we don't need to get the militia armory, uh, the militia garrison over at Emenufuin. That should be safe, but they could potentially maybe go for Thranduil's Halls. And if they do, we need to be prepared at all times. Erin Dolan, though, is likely going to be the, the standard target that they go after, I would imagine. So there we go. I'm thinking maybe Leagolas is going to try and lead a army towards Withybord. That leaves Town Filin open for taking though. We have this garrison in this fort here that is going to give us some kind of a warning if Gundabad goes down here. Uh, most likely the AI might want to attack the fort before they go for the region. So that's a good thing that we have these guys in the fort and they should be able to fight quite well against the forces of Gundabad. Leogolas, I'm going to send you into this fort for the time being and start getting an army uh, that should be able to claim with the board. So we are going to get the Woodland Scouts here and that's about it. That's the only thing we can go for, sadly. And these guys might, I don't know, we might need them here. Thranduil, you're going to be the commander against Dol Guldur most likely. Should we get these guys into the fort here? They could act as a reserve force if Erin Dolan looks weak against Dol Guldur. I guess so. And we have the rule as well that Leogolas and Thranduil are not allowed to fight on the same 
frontline. We need maybe to change that later in the campaign though, but for the beginning 40 turns, let's say 40 turns, for the beginning 40 turns of the campaign, Legolas and Thranduil are not allowed to be on the same front line. Uh, so that's a big issue actually, because I kind of want them to be at the same front line, but uh, we are not allowing ourselves to do that, just to maybe make it a bit harder for us. Uh, did we have any missions? Let me just take a look. No missions currently. We do have a diplomat somewhere around. Can't quite over there. My lord. It's marching down here. I'm hoping that we're gonna get a diplomatic mission that will give us 750 gold coins. I'm hoping for one of those missions because we we are not allowed either to get money via map information. Let's end it up. Let's end it. Eminufoin finished a building and hopefully we should be earning a bit more money. And we should also be earning a bit more money with the new recruit or the other units that are on their way towards Thranduil's fort in the south. And if Leogolas rests a bit at the fort at Thranduil's halls, we should also be able to make a lot of money while we wait for further forces to join us in the Witherboard front. I wonder how long it's going to take. Oh, that came quite handy. If I do say so, take it. We're gonna take it. Let's take a look. Construction report Erin Dolan, Emun Nufuin. Yeah, Emun Nufuin got the mines. Erin Dolan, should we go for it while we have the money? The militia garrison? I think we should. I think we honestly should do that. Erin Dolan, land clearance. Oh, yeah, Erin Dolan. Emun Nufuin, though. Uh, we did get the mines. Glorious. We might want to chuck in a cheap grain exchange in there. Uh, in the next turn, but we are going to prioritize getting the militia garrison here. That should help a great deal against Dol Guldur, most likely. Production with number 11 is quite well. Military 26. Are we last in everything except uh, uh, production? I think we might be. Okay. This is going to save us a lot of cash. Get them in and get Leoglas into this fort here. And we have this guy as well. Authority, of course, we could send him with us to the Witherboard front line. We don't have a rule regarding him, so we might send him with Legolas um, to get some extra melee power in the army. Uh, we are sadly not able to recruit any more units. We are going to want to get these guys as quickly as we can, though, but we don't have the money, so we're not able to get them. Uh, no missions, uh, just to try and get over to Mordor or Candish territory and try and get a mission started for 750 gold coins so that we can get somewhere with that. After the mil militia garrison we should also try and maybe get uh, the next tier of Hall of Music to get an additional free upkeep unit and then maybe the practice range so that we have this guy being free and an additional archer being free along with the two melee units that we're going to get from the militia garrison. I think that might be the building order that we go for. This is a castle. How many? Let me just take a look. We can go up to um, Hall of Culture even. We can even get three free upkeep units. Uh, so that's great. Uh, we should maybe try and get that as quickly as possible. Valiant Council Hall. Yeah, that requires a stronghold. We only have the castle this far. But um, Erin Dolan looks like it should be quite the defensive reader. I'm not sure that they can attack me at... at uh, maybe they can. Maybe. We might need to have a garrison in the fort later just to be absolutely sure that we can defend our capital when it comes down to it. Is that what you want? Yeah, they're bringing some forces, some snow Oak scouts. One thing we should also try and get as quickly as possible is one stable somewhere. I really would like to get uh, my hands on one cavalry unit. Uh, that's gonna help so incredibly much. Even though they're terrible in the melee, we're still gonna use them as charging cavalry because they can make the units break even though their charge suck. They can still make them break. So the stables is something we need to look into getting possibly at Thranduil's halls because uh, we're gonna get it should be the cheapest yeah 1575 gold coins there so maybe the stables should be something we go for over there 
Okay, uh, well, there's not much we can do, really. We're just waiting. We should be earning quite some money now with all of these guys being inside of forts. Let's end the turn once again. As I've said previously, a lot of ending turns. We need to be quick, though, on taking with the board. We don't want the Gundabad Orcs to take it before us, or Erebor. Um, so we need to take that quickly. I really hope that... Uh, Maybe the dwarves is going to take Onanzanar, Onanzanar, Onasanar, or Onanzanar. I'm not sure what it's called, but um, hopefully the dwarves will take that because we are not allowed to take it. We could attack it and take it for one turn, but we have to give it away. Okay, nothing major is happening. We are still not seeing any signs of aggression. They're going full with the board, though, with an army. We might need to start the war with... Uh, with uh, Gundamad soon, if we want to take this region there. Tarfilin, Erindolen and Thranduil Souls are still producing buildings over at Emun Nufuin. Only uh, income type buildings is required here. Uh, not gonna go for this one quite just yet, it's quite expensive. Go for a cheap grain exchange here, should give us some extra cash. Uh, Thranduil Souls, get me the Woodland Warriors. Tarfilin, give me the archers and give me the spears, please. That should be enough. I mean, I guess we could potentially move out straight away. We have more than enough armies here. We have Legolas, we have Orthority, we have two archers and one warrior. I honestly think that should be enough to take with the board. Should we start moving straight away? We might need to go through the lands of Erebor. They might not like that. We don't have military access with them, but we have to get here, so we might need to risk going in through their lands for one turn. Diplomat. Uh, still no missions. No missions currently. My Lord. Go south. Yes. Try and find Stop Kand. Try and get a mission. Or with Mordor. Doesn't really matter. Oh, there we go. Where are you headed? Ugsag. Ugsag won against Captain Skald from the Kingdom of Dale. Okay. Why is he this aggressive? Maybe we need to take him out. It remains to be seen. We still have the reserve force here with Thranduil. This is an, is an army that should be able to absolutely destroy this army so easily. Uh, we're not going to go after it yet, though. We want to see what they do. They might go for Erin Dolan. Uh, we shall see. We shall see. We are going to move. We are going to move for with the board. We want to claim it, so let's go. Take the. Oh, we can get uh, mercenaries. We can get the Dale Cavalry. Okay, that would be beneficial, honestly. Some extra cab. Um, should we take everything? Or should we let one unit stay? Maybe. This is going to be expensive. This is going to be real expensive, this one. Is this enough? Ah, uh, not sure. No, you know, take this unit as well. And march. Money-wise, yeah, that's gonna cost us so much money in the upkeep now. Uh, we're still gonna earn a bit of cash, but not too much. Not too much at all. Okay, let's end a turn. Really hoping we're gonna get that mission uh, with the the diplomatic mission for 750 extra gold coins. We need it. We desperately do. Let's see if Gundabad is going to take with the board. And we're also going to definitely provoke a war with Gundabad if we take with the board for ourselves. They're definitely going to want it. Um, yeah, they are really out for something. Looks like Dale is on the move further south. They're sending some armies towards Bur al hopefully. Kerandor's under attack. New mission. Oh, there we go. Just the right moment. Yes, my lord. Go and talk to them. Oh, we have a fort that we Tomorrow's can talk to. Go to the fort. Up. Yes, my lord. Market over there. I think we might want to tower fill in criminal farming. We are going to go for the stables here. I really want to have at least one stable in one region so that we can actually get cavalry. So get that one. Yeah, they're definitely going to go after it. 
Yeah, we're not able to get the cab. We don't have the money. 300 gold coins. We could maybe just wait one extra turn and get the cab. Yeah, get the cab. Because I don't think we can get them here. So let's go for Witherboard. And we're going to start the stables in the next turn instead. We're not earning that much money. Ugsag and Dale and Captain Nagduf, all of them are fighting each other over there. This guy is still not free upkeep either. That's costing us extra money. Uh, yeah, free upkeep. We need more of it. And these guys, as soon as they're ready, they have to march over to this fort straight away. Or to Thranduil's Halls itself, because they should be able to be free upkeep over there as well. Okay, let's end it again. Let's end it. Let's see if Gunnabad attacks and takes a Witherboard. Yeah, that's a, that's a Dwarven town, so it says on the map that they have walls. But they don't have walls when you go on the uh, battle map. It's a weird feature, uh, but it, it is like that. Okay, they're besieging it. They're likely going to attack it straight away. We are just going to lay in wait here and uh, see if they fail or if they take it. This is costing us so much though, but uh, let's wait for them. See if they take it. If they fail, we're just going to go in and take it. If they succeed, we're also going to take it from them. Okay, Dwarven Code of Males, two hit points, that's good. Dwarven Spear, oh yeah, he's getting some good things. Recruitment Report, yeah, that's going to cost us an insane amount of money. Get them into Thranduil's Halls straight away. Get them in there. Get them to be free upkeep. You're still getting this one, it's done in one turn, this is done in one turn. We cannot afford the stables, um, yeah. We can afford it if we get the mission done, though, with Canned. Trade rights. Yes, thank you, that's enough. 750 gold coins, glorious. Get over there, try and get diplomatic missions with other factions, and start constructing the stables, please. Okay, we're preparing, we have put up some defensive perimeters. Not sure what is going on. Dol um, Guldur is still not doing anything against me. We're still kind of struggling with eco though. Let's just take, let me just take a look at this settlement. Yeah, it's giving bonus to law, but we don't have any corruption here from what we can see, so it's likely not going to help with the income at all. Let's take a look and see what happens to the settlement when we finish the building. Doesn't look like it changed a thing. Gundabad, will you succeed in claiming with the board or not? I don't think this is the right strategy to go after Gundabad first. I'm not so sure, especially when we have the rule with the settlement, because we're, we cannot even take the mountains. So, yeah, that's going to be problematic. Yeah, Captain Thorald is getting pushed back. Karan's on attack, new mission, Witherboard, two grand, oh my goodness, perfect timing. We are just definitely going to go after it. Some orcs inside, let's get some rams and let's take it. Gundabad failed um, in the taking of uh, Witherboard, they failed the siege. Financially 27, that is not great. Get them into the fort quickly, make them free, we need to earn money. We have finished the militia garrison though, which is really good. Uh, we can then be a bit more safe here. We're still quite safe though, because Thranduil is over there. Uh, we have the stable started here, over there. I'm thinking Hall of Music would be something. Leather Tanner. Leather tanners are quite great because they're cheap and they give some income. Don't go for them yet. Save the money. 
wait until we claim this one. That should give us a nice income boost when we take it. Let's take a look at this region over there. Dane's Halls. Conqueror of Dane's Halls. They have some forces over there. They have actually silver armor upgrades already. That's pretty strong this early. Brackeberg. Building ground, nothing major. Gondorian Barracks. But these forces are nothing to scoff at. They're pretty good. 6 attack, 15 defense, 165 of them. That's some decent units right there. The Orcs of Gundabad are a tough faction. They have great units. They really do. And we need to be on the lookout. Well, I do like this. Dale seems to be doing something. They're actually putting some pressure on Dol Guldur there. That's, uh, that's good. Send a turn again. The turns are just passing by so fast here. They really are. <laughs> it goes like the wind. Uh, the turn. We're at turn 20 and we're just... This is the second episode. And we have just claimed two regions this far. The thing is, if we wait too long with Dol Guldur, they might become a powerhouse of a faction. Okay, they're actually going to attack me. Gundamad has drawn uh, their sword against me. The war has started. They're bringing in some snow graders, scouts, spears, fighters, hunters and mountain orc hunters. We do have a lot of ranged forces. Uh, so this shouldn't be much of a problem at all. But Gundabad, those pesky bastards, decided to attack me. And they have taken this region over there. They have taken Onanzanar over there. Okay, they are really going ham, uh, Gundabad. They are pushing the brink here. The war has started with Gundabad. Let's see how it goes. Prince Legolas, let's go. Evil must not be allowed to triumph. Well, luckily for us, they are the ones attacking me, which means that we can use our powerful archers to great effect and just bombard them. They are likely going to lose 60% of their army before they even reach us. So, yeah, it sh shouldn't be much of a problem. Let's take a look at this glorious commander, uh, this guy over there. Look at that. Look at the armor of the commanders in this faction. It's so great. Look at the unit. Elven King's Gate Guard. Such an amazing looking unit. Look at the detail, look at the armor, look at the cape, look at everything, look at the helmets. They look flipping great. They really do. We need to be careful with him though. We don't want him to die. He does have the special ability, swiftness as well. Uh, we might want to use that. Start the battle. Frontline. If you stand over there, and if the archers stand here, get over there and start punishing those forces from Dol Guldur, please. No, not Dol Guldur, Gundabad. Orc Hunters, yes, that's a javelin unit we want to look into. Destroying Snow Oak Scout is also a unit we want to annihilate uh, to not allow them to get any shots off. How about if you fire at the Hunters and if Leoglas fire at the Scouts? Yeah, they're getting into range quickly. We should be able to drop them fairly quickly, though. Yeah, Legolas is firing on these guys. They're dropping fast. They're firing back, though. They're going to get some kills on me. The Hunters are going forwards. Let's see if we can catch them off guard. Remember, the Elves, they're insanely fast. Get in there. Get in there. Let's take a look at this glorious charge from the Elven King's Gate Guard. Here they go. They're smashing everything in their path. Okay, we don't need to focus on them. Kill these guys. Cavalry. Go to the back. Try and flank around a bit. Pop the ability. Uh, Mountain Orc Hunters. That's a scary unit. That's a unit we need to, to try and destroy. How about if you focus on those? And if Legolas can focus on the raiders over there now. We don't need to focus anymore on the Snow Orc Scouts. Cavalry. Going for a quick charge against the Orc Hunters. He's got out of it. Just go for the charge quickly. These guys are broken. Yeah, we're getting stuck on these raiders here. Uh, no problem, just get in there. Charge these guys in the back. We're taking some friendly fire though with our own archers. Uh, let's uh, try and kite a bit. Go over there. 
Legolas, uh, try and stand over here. Stand over there. Uh, where are you? Where are you, Commander? Well, that's not the Commander. I have no idea where he's located. Is he in a bad position? We don't want him to die. Go after the Raiders. You're gonna fire in the blob there. These archers, uh, you can fire over there, and you're just gonna position over there and fire in their backs. Yeah, this is gonna... Oh, look at the amount of kills. The enemy general, the enemy general is dead. Uh, glorious work. Glorious work. I think we should be able to just charge them in the back now with the archers and just break them that way. I think we should be able to. So we are going to risk going for a charge. These guys are broken. Everyone is broken. Good. Fire the... You can actually fire the snow raiders instead. Yeah, they're breaking. All of them. Go after the scouts. Just go after the scouts and cavalry deal with the raiders. And then the battle should be over. I think we did lose a bit too much here. We didn't need to lose this much. Uh, continue the fight and uh, chase them all down. Gundabad's attack was not a success. It was a failure. Go after these guys. 89%. Let's continue a bit more. Get some extra experience for the cavalry. You're glitching out. Come on, guys. Chase them down. Make sure that they're all defeated. There we go, that's enough. Exit the battle. The Heroic victory, 59 losses. This is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. That's too much. 59 losses is far too much. Yeah, that's too much. We could have kited them. I should have played this one better. 59 losses is too much. Absolutely it is. Hinidar, 415 kills. Uh, casualty sustained. Woodland Warriors. Yeah, they're they're kind of easily killed. I uh, could have gone better. Could have gone better. But uh, this uh, Gunnabad army is totally annihilated. We are going to execute them all. Get rid of them. Uh, they're still there though. Okay. Enemy camp sacked. That's good. That gave us a bit of extra money. Yes. Get the diplomat Absolutely. to continue moving. I shall continue tomorrow. Diplomatic tomorrow information. We're now at war with the Orcs of Gundabad. Gondor and Isengard are at war with each other as well. Building wise, cheap buildings that gives some income. Except Erin Dolan. Over here, practice range first, maybe, or the Hall of Music. Go over the Hall of Music first. Emin uh, in. let's chuck in a leather tanner in there, uh, it's going to help a bit. And we should get an additional two grand when we take with the board, and that should allow us to maybe produce something else over here. Crop rotation, no, we can't, can't quite afford that. Market, perhaps, let's just take a look and see how much money that would bring. Ah, not too much, not too much. Same with the crop rotation. Maybe it would be more worthwhile getting something here. Roads would be beneficial later when we can get the next tier. Communal farming. Yeah, it's a pretty decent one. It's a pretty okay one. But the leather tanners, they're actually pretty good. 40 gold coins. Um, go for that. Go for the leather tanner. It's a cheap one. Let's go for it. And we shall get something else here. I'm not exactly sure yet what we're going to get. Maybe the vineyard. It gives 40 gold coins as well. It's actually bringing in some money. So who knows. Maybe this one. The master builders hall. But we won't be able to afford it. Uh, but uh, let's take the fight. Let's clear. Yeah, we can attack it. Oh, good. With the board. They do have a troll inside. They actually have a troll inside everything else is going to be easily killed i think with leogolas we should be able to bring those trolls down quite easily we need to be careful though if they get to my elves they could do an insane amount of damage if they get to leogolas and fight him he's going to be in the danger zones we have to annihilate the trolls and then after 
the mountain orc hunters. Those two units, firstly the trolls and then the hunters. And the cab is going to try and charge down the goblin archers or something. Let's go in. Let's try and claim Witherboard. Okay. This settlement is kind of nice because we should be able to get some really good shots off here against the enemy. So we're going to focus them down with archer fire. We have the superior range here. So we should be able to just fire at them and kite them around. Uh, melee infantry, just stay in the back. Cav, be prepared to do something if something happens. Stop the battle. Just wait a second. Don't fire yet. Uh, let's just take a look and see if we can get some solid shots on the trolls. Archers, stand over there. I want to fire at them without their goblin archers um, firing back at me. I wish you'd be able to bring these trolls down fairly easily with these uh, Hinidaur. Hopefully, we should. Okay, we're in position. Everyone seems to be in range. Let's fire at the big baddies, the trolls. Focus them down. And while we're doing that, we should be able to hit a lot of other troops as well because they're just running around and <laughs> just causing a huge havoc here on the square. Okay, that's fairly interesting. There we go. We're starting to melt their forces. I'm thinking we should be able to drop those trolls fairly easily. If this is the only thing they're going to do, we should be totally fine here. There we go, there we go. We've killed. Oh, look at that. 80% already. Trolls, 12 remaining still. We should be soon be seeing some of them drop. We're doing some serious damage on them here. With the high missile attack. There we go. We've already seen one uh, dead troll here. One more. Keep the focus on the trolls. Bring those baddies down. Oh, you're not in range. What are you doing? Don't go forwards. What is happening? Come on. Just stay where you are and fire at the trolls. There we go. Eight remaining trolls, they're just not doing anything. They're just standing on the square, taking the fire. Soaking up all of the damage. 52% of the force has been killed. Uh, it seems to be running quite smoothly here. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to annihilate their entire army with archers. But as long as we're getting the trolls down. Where are the mountain orc hunters? Oh, we're weak in them as well. Look at that. We have weakened them a great deal. Trolls are done for. Legolas, fire your last shots in the blob. One of the units is going to try and focus down the mountain orc hunters. Just keep up the fire. What a relaxing battle we're having today. Oh, look at the melt. Look at the melt here. It's getting so deleted. Totally and utterly deleted. We, maybe we should focus this unit because that's quite deadly. Take a look at their stats quickly. 11 attack, 22 defense. That's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. We should try and weaken those. You're out of ammunition. Okay. Uh, stand. Uh, you can stand over here. That's a good spot for you. And one of you can stand over there. There we go. And don't fire at will yet. I'm going to tell you when you can fire and when you cannot. Look at the slaughter. The trolls didn't get to do a single thing against us. <laughs> and now we are going to try and destroy the last remaining goblin bodyguards. Okay, let's take a look. Are both of you in range? No, you are not in range. We need to go forwards a bit with you. Let's go over there. You are now in range. Let's weaken the bodyguards. We might be a bit too close now. They might want to act. It doesn't look like they want to, so... Okay. We're out of ammunition. We have weakened them a bit, but not that much. Okay. These guys are not going to do anything. We're likely going to try and use the commanders only. Because they can replenish. We need to be careful, though. Uh, we need to be careful. They have archers still. 
cavalry, maybe we are going to use you as well. We need to be careful here. They still have some forces left. Woodland warriors might use them, actually, uh, to not risk everything. Legolas. I'm not sure we want to maybe send you against the go goblin bodyguard. Maybe you should go against them instead. Take the long way. Legolas, you are going to go this way and the woodland warriors are going to go through the center. Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. I think you can run because you should have the stamina. We're going to send these guys in first. We don't want to risk losing a great commander here. I'm going to start sending them in now. Try and silence the archers. Wherever they are. They're over there, okay. Just try and get in that run as well. Leoglas, I'm going to form your unit up. Okay, slow down the speed. I want to see everything. I'm going to form your unit up like this. Before we charge in. Like this. Something like this. That because then you should be as far away from the action as possible. Or Thoradir, get over here. I want you to charge the Goblin Bodyguard. The battle has started. It looks like we have tied up the archers. The Woodland Warriors are making great um, gains in the field. We are losing some of them though. Hinidaur, Leoglas is over there. Perfect. Let's charge in against whatever we can find. Let's go in. Pop the ability as well. And Leoglas is all the way in the back. Yeah, this unit is going to melt in seconds. Authority. Uh, can we form you up like that, maybe? Just go like that and get a good clean charge on them. Leogolas is over there. He's in the center. That's good. These guys are almost dead. Six guys remaining. Woodland warriors are taking some casualties. They are not doing a single thing, these rebels. Pop the bullets again and go ham. Go in for a glorious charge. This should hurt them a great deal. If we get that, we didn't even charge them. But their commander is already surrounded. He's gonna die swiftly. Let me tell you, he's gonna die quickly here. Already surrounded by the mighty Elven King's Gate Guard. Oh, they're hiding in the. in here. Go for the Goblin Archers over there. But while you're at it, destroy the Mountain Orc Hunters as well. Leoglas is still in a decent position. How is it looking here? This commander, Authority, is also in a safe position. We're carving through these goblin bodyguards. Great news. And you're doing great as well. We're taking some losses though. Against goblin archers. With the woodland warriors. Look at this guy with the spear. He looks mighty cool. Really cool looking unit this guy. Really badass looking unit. There with us. You're over there. Okay that's good. Ten remaining. Push th through them. And just annihilate them. You have a high attack stat, so we should be able to kill them fairly easily in melee. There we go. Seems... Yeah, they're dead, all of them. Go for a quick little charge now on the Goblin Bodyguard. Our men are in command of the city. Yeah, he's over there, he's fine. And here comes the Inidao going in again. Again, yeah, we're destroying them, totally deleting them, they're wavering, they might break because of... Oh, there we go. The battle is over. End the battle. Heroic victory. 21 losses. Let's take a look at the kills. Himi Dao, 620 kills. They are always going to win the casualties inflicted uh, game. Every time they're going to win. Uh, but there we go. Uh, Woolen Warriors, 155 kills. Uh, Woolen Scouts, uh, kind of surprising that they didn't get any more kills than that but they did perform well elven king's gate got 42 kills and four casualties sustained so they did well against the goblin bodyguard as well there we go with the board is ours another settlement claimed and an additional two grand in the bank
There we go. Settlement claimed. Good. It's actually really good that we take this, because uh, if Gundabad would take this one, they could attack me from the north against... I'm not sure what happened there, but my recording session, uh, program decided to shut itself off. Hopefully it's not going to do it again. But we decided to just occupy the settlement. And we did do the mission. Two grand in the bank. Really good. We need all of the money we can get. And enemy army routes. So that's great. We should maybe look into getting this army destroyed as well. There are three units over there. Okay, two grand in the bank. What are we going to try and get in terms of buildings? Uh, Thrandy Results, Eminifuin and Erin Dolan are all producing buildings. Taur Filin is not producing buildings at the moment. Um, with the board, what are we going to try and get here? We can get the mines. Uh, it's not the greatest mines in the world, but it's going to help a bit financially. And go for low here. Oh, and Orthordir is the the commander of this settlement uh, how much happier are they gonna be if Legolas is the one a bit more it looks like it's gonna grow a bit faster as well uh, yeah okay just stick in with the board for now buildings what should we begin getting here how much money is the land clearance going to give us here for example no uh, an okay amount. It's quite cheap. Grain exchange. Yeah, decent. Decent building. It's quite expensive though. We haven't gotten the builder's hall here. Yeah, practice range. Artist studio. What's the culture? It's at 16%. 1.5,000 gold coins though. We don't need to rush this one yet. I'm thinking maybe go for this one first. And then go for something that gives us some money here. Leather worker or Winyard. Winyard is going to take three turns. It's going to give us 40 gold coins extra. This is only going to give us 20 gold coins extra from the previous leather tanner. And yeah, let's go for the Winyard. Let's go for this one. And that's all of the money. But the positive thing is that we are producing buildings in all of the current locations that we're owning. And that's always something that I like. When everything is producing something, that makes me happy. Uh, three units over there. We are going to move out. We are going to take the fight with Orthorodi because I want to try and train him up a bit more. We need more command stars on him. So let's go out with him. Leogolas is going to stay behind. Take the archers and the cav. They had one archer, two melee units. Okay. Take the warriors with you as well. Just take a look. Um, two command, three hit points, one command, ambushing, two loyalty. Five movement points, one renown, and one acumen. That's a good guy. A dwarven spear, dwarven coat of males, two hit points. That's also really good. Sentinel of the Woodrun Realm. Uh, did we have any great? I think Thrandu will have maybe something that we might want to give over to someone else. Trade. Uh, this gives trade. I'm not sure that uh, Thrandu will need this one. Public happiness, authority. He has a lot of authority. This we could give to someone else because it gives more trade. How great. Um, you're decent. You're also decent. Yeah, maybe the next place where we want to get a commander in should be Thranduil Salt because this is currently the best region for us financially. Eminifuin, though, is also really great. But we have a guy in here. We should also try and get one guy over there. But at the same time, we also kind of want a commander over there. If Gundabad tries to do something against us. Okay. Uh, Orthordir. Destroy Captain Solgrul. Let's go in. Okay. Start deployment. 
Woodland Warriors, I'm not sure why we even brought you here. I'm not going to use you, I think. We're going to use these guys in the melee. And the archers we're just going to use to soften them up. Cavalry going to try and charge down their archers. Start oh, you're in range already. Okay, good. Fire from there. Or Thor, dude, why don't you stand over there somewhere? And prepare to charge them when they arrive. Snow Scout, Snow Space, Snow Raiders. We're doing some great damage to their archers. Go for the Raiders. Cavalry, why don't you go for a charge on the Scouts quickly? While we have the opportunity. The Spears are going back. That's good. Keep fire at the Raiders in the back. They don't have a shield, so they're easy pickings for my archers to bring down. Yeah, they're going to fall. Let's just take a look at their... Three in armor. That's the only thing they have against missile fire. There we go, we're going in. Decent charge, pull out quickly. Do not linger. Do not linger in there. We're doing some great damage to them here with the archers. Orthorlir, go forwards. I'm gonna run with you. Spears and Raiders. Orthorlir, you should be able to deal with those guys fairly easily. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. 55% already destroyed. Yeah, they're firing back at me. I don't like that. Cavalry, prepare to try and get some more charges on the scouts. And if they're not gonna, going to attack us, we can just hold them over here. Just to try and ignore the spears and just go straight for the scouts. While my archers fire on the raiders. There we go. Some more damage to those guys. Pull out. Do the same thing again. Yeah, they just don't know what to do here. Okay, switch focus to the spears. And you are going to go in against the raiders. Yeah, the spears are chasing after the cab now. Or Thordir. Go in. Oh, they're, sh they're showing their backs to us. They're going to... Okay, they're turning around now, please. Get in there and smash. There we go. They're gonna fall so, so swiftly. Scouts are over there. Go in. Quickly. Let's see if we can get in here without the spears doing anything against us. Is the commander in here? I'm not sure. That was a good shot. We're doing some friendly fire here. Get out. Get out before we kill our own guys. Okay, there we go. Good. Continue. Stop firing. And give chase. Kill everyone and get some extra experience for the cab. And everyone else. Pop the swiftness. Let's see how fast you become. I maybe didn't change anything. There we go. Good. Ten losses. Quite sad, but um, it's fine, it's fine. Elven King's Gate Guard, three casualties sustained. He's going to replenish. Woodland Scouts, we did lose two uh, from returning Orcish Archer Fire. But uh, Captain Zolgrul is no more. And we should get an additional 300 gold coins because of this battle. There we go. Execute them all. Enemy camp sacked. We gained some extra coins. He didn't get a new command star. But he's getting a bit better. We are going to send these guys in. And for now, Leagolas is going to be in here. Because he's making this place grow a bit faster. So, Orthorlir, why don't you stand just outside of the settlement for now? Where do we go from here? We are not allowed to claim this one, even though this would be a nice grab. We might go after it. And take it. And give it to the dwarves. I'm not going to sell the regions that I claim. I'm not going to ask for any money. Uh, we're just going to give them for free. Uh, to make it even harder. Uh, we're not going to gain anything except a safe, safer border from taking these kinds of regions. Only give them for free. Uh, so that's going to be problematic as well. If we just give them for free, uh, we're not gaining too much. Except a safe border, of course. So yeah, that's also going to make it a bit harder. 
Uh, let's. Uh, we did do the mission. I'm certainly hoping that we are going to get a mission now uh, on yes. another faction to talk to diplomatically so that we can gain further money. Uh, Uxag is still over here kicking around doing some nasty stuff. Erin Rune and they're developing this region a bit. It's under time. Let's end it. Let's see how much money we gain now with the new addition uh, with the board. Another settlement. I really hope that the dwarves won't attack me. They could backstab me because with the board, I think, is a settlement that the dwarves usually go after. There we go. They're attacking me at the fort. Sound the alarm. Here we go. The aggression from Gundabad has begun. Uh, I'm gonna stick hopefully we should be able to take them out here. What do you have? Mountain Guard. It's a pretty scary unit. Hopefully we should be able to win against this army. But we need to strengthen this location as well. Um, the time of rest is over. And the time of holding our border safe begins now I think we didn't finish a single building let's get the troops then we're gonna need them get the wardens get the warriors oh goodness me hall of music and we need the militia garrison here ASAP I'm not sure that it's worth getting this one we might want to get the garrison first we have started it let's go for it nonetheless um, we're getting some more. We have this guy. We could maybe use him as a defender of the kingdom while Legolas is the aggressor. Thranduil could act as the defender. We could take this path up here to save Tower Filin if it comes down to it. But Eren Dolan is going to be a bit open but we do have the militia garrison here so I'm feeling quite confident that we should be able to maybe win we have the castle as well so the towers are going to be kind of great we have some reserve forces in the capital and the fort here so we could send them as well I really hope that the dwarves don't attack me though I'm not sure if they want to with us keeping with the board oh if they do yeah <laughs> the campaign is going to be lost straight away. Uh, please just go after this region instead. Don't go for Witherboard. That would be the most painful Sire. thing ever. Rackerberg has a population of 426. It's not going to be upgraded for quite some time. And this is a region we might want to grab... If we have some walls, without walls, this is going to be a painful place to hold. A nightmare to hold. Absolutely. I'm not sure yet what we want to do here. We are going to want to claim it sooner or later though. When we get an opening, what we could do is to try and send Legolas over here and claim this region. And give it to the dwarves as a gift and as a token of our friendship well a good thing is though that the dwarves have a border with Gunnabad so they should be fighting each other just take a look at them yeah they are at war with each other it's good that they have a border because then they could start focusing each other Doguldur still hasn't done anything major against us luckily but uh, the campaign, the hard parts of the campaign should begin soon. We're still trying to get buildings, trying to get more free upkeep slots over at Erin Dolan. We still have the roads. How much money would this give? Not too much here. But if we get the roads at Emin Nufuin, it should give a lot more. If you connect the roads together, they always bring in a lot of wealth. So that's a thing we need to look into getting as well. The roads at Erindolen and Emin Nufuin, because that should boost our finances greatly. We have the dirt paths here that we could get. 
I don't think they're gonna get anything for us. Yeah, a bit of money. A bit. Just a tiny amount. We want to get them so that we can get the next tier as quickly as possible. But there we go. That's the second episode for you. I hope that you've enjoyed this much, as much as I have. Um, we are going to start the next episode possibly by defending the fort here. We have some spears that can f get into a shield wall. We have some solid archers. And we have the Mythor Ether Wire that should be able to maybe hack and slash through some of the Snowhawk forces. I think we should be able to win. And if everything goes south, we can always send the reserve force uh, of King Thranduil and these guys over there to support uh, the cause. So there we go. Have a great day, guys. Goodbye to you all.